best start to the year. I'm sorry, I went MIA. I mean, after doing Vlogmas every single day, uploading every single day, it just got to Christmas day and I was just like knackered. And I just wanted to enjoy Christmas and New Year. So I'm sorry there wasn't any vlogs after that. Hopefully you've caught up on my Christmas day vlog and enjoyed that but i know this is delayed and a little bit overdue but i thought maybe you guys would still want to see what i got for christmas and we can just sit down and have a chat about christmas and new year so first of all how was everyone's new year let me know what you guys done in the comments below i went to stockholm which was goddamn cold <laughs> it was so cold i can't even tell you i got nappy rash i mean it's probably not called nappy rash probably didn't get actual nappy rash but i had a rash on my bum when my bum was rubbing against my jeans yeah it was uncomfortable and sore that's why i'm in sweden <laughs> i had the best time there though and i 100 want to go back in summer we had the best food there like the food was absolutely unreal the restaurants we went to were lovely had a really fun new year i mean first of all it started a bit iffy if you saw my instagram stories we basically paid all this money to go to this fancy place called the grand and our food come and it was overcooked and cold and it was just really really bad so by half past nine we'd managed to have a three course meal complained we hadn't eaten any of it um, so complain to the manager we managed to get a refund thank the lord and started our night again at half past nine went to a couple of bars watched the fireworks just had a really fun time so yeah definitely want to go back i mean i'm loving that i've come back to london and it's all bright and sunny outside which is perfect so i'm feeling in a good mood i'm ready to show you what i got for Christmas. Now I did get lots of like little bits and pieces like PJs and underwear and socks and alcohol and food um, but I'm just going to show you the main things that I got in this video. My first main present was my leather jacket from Sunny. This is from Reese and I absolutely love it. Oh, I've got a really big ooh, a jumper on underneath so it's a little bit tight. Um, but I love my leather jacket so much that like it really comes in here, pulls me in. I know this is a jacket I'm going to have for years and years and years and years. I haven't had a real leather one before and I wore my fake one from Zara like constantly for years. So I know I'm definitely going to get the wear out of this. I love how it fits and yeah, it's just perfect. So this was the perfect Christmas present for me. And Sunny also took me to go and see Dream Girls. <laughs> Try and get this off now. <laughs> Dream Girls, the musical. I did see it when it first came out like years ago, but it is going out of the theatres in a couple of weeks. So he took me to go and see that, which I loved. I mean, Sonny hadn't seen the film before, so for him it didn't really make sense. So we got back and watched the film, and now he gets it, he enjoyed the film. Everyone is happy. For my brother, my main present was my Amazon Alexa, which I had an Amazon. Amazon Alexa when I was at home with my mum and dad and when I moved out I didn't really realize how much I used it until I moved out so I really missed having music just playing in the background when I'm working and when I'm just at home so this was on my Christmas list and I'm so happy I got it I've used it so much it's been on every single day <laughs> since Christmas and um, this is the newest Amazon Alexa I'm not sure what one it is I'll link it below but it's amazing the sound is so good on this as well i can't really show you these plugged in yet because i don't have a bulb but i got these from my mum and dad i did ask for these as well so very practical presents that they knew i was obviously gonna love because i picked it and um, but these are bedside table lamps so i've got two for either side of my bed and then i've got a ceiling lamp i think it's two rows of these crystals so that needs to go up in my bedroom and my bedside tables get delivered next friday so then i'll be able to show you what my lamps look like on my bedside tables <laughs> these are the coolest things ever this is what my friend caroline and michael bought me obviously they know i love a bit of rose gold and these are champagne flutes 
that sit in this vase here. They look so cool. I'm, I've just got them on the side, like looking pretty in my kitchen at the minute. So this is what they look like. Obviously you have to be careful that you don't go to put it down and spill it and drop it, which <laughs> I nearly done a few times. It just makes like having friends over, having a couple of drinks really fun and they look so cool. These are from Next. I love them. Literally, such a good present. I feel like I just asked for most of my presents, but my mum and dad also got me the slippers that I wanted from Emu Australia. Now these were on QVC. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper on there, but I did ask for either cream or grey, and because when my mum went to order them, they were sold out, she bought me black. Not sure I'm going to wear. I love them. You do have to go up a lot of sizes these are a size they're a size nine and i'm a size six <laughs> they're still not like huge for me so if you do get them make sure you go up at least two sizes um so yeah i'm just not sure if i'm going to keep these or not maybe i'll sell them and get the gray ones or the white ones which i wanted because it's now too long to return these so yeah, I'm not sure what to do, but I do really love them and they are definitely worth the hype because they're super snuggly and keep your feet like really warm. In the sale, I saw these on Selfridges and was like, oh, I've got to have them. I got these for £70. I can't remember how much they were originally, but these are cut from Carvella. Look at them. They're so nice. Absolutely love them. I'm only going to wear them for when I want to go out in trainers but go to a nice place. Um, or where I know they're just not going to get filthy. Because this kind of fabric is not very practical. And you can't really clean them that well. So I love them. I think they look super smart. But I will use them more towards the summer when I know it's not going to rain. And they're not going to get muddy and dirty. But these are a size 6. And they fit like a glove. Love them so much. From my friend Jenna. Now she spoiled me with this super cool bag it's from stored i think that's how you say it it's basically very cool very trendy way much more cooler than i actually am but jenna's making me cool with this bag and it would definitely be the perfect bag in summer with some jeans and a white tee or like a denim dress i can really imagine using this so yeah it's really really cool it kind of reminds me of 60s vibes i love the square handle this is kind of like their main iconic thing to the brand right now. They've got them in all different colors and sizes. I love that I would just never have picked this out for myself because I wouldn't have thought I'm cool enough to carry it off. But she has got this for me, which is so kind of generous of her. So yeah, I'm gonna take this for a while, probably more towards the springtime um, when I've got my, my whites on and my jeans. I love that look, just blue jeans, white tee, this will look perfect. Perfect Prezi for me, from Candy Kittens, from my brother and sister-in-law. I haven't tried this, um, oh, I'll just clean my teeth. Oh, that's sharp. <laughs> I haven't tried this flavour before, Peach Fizz, but I really like it. <laughs> I think my all-time favourite is the Apple Fizz, but this Peach Fizz is really nice, and how cute is the jar? It says, hate sweet things, so I'm going to keep the jar for sure. And I can just fill it up with sweets and keep it in the kitchen. As you can tell, I love comfy loungewear. I actually just ordered this from Miss Guy. I did it arrived like an hour ago. <laughs> really like it. I'll pop the link below. It's probably the softest tracksuit I've ever worn. But runner up to the softest tracksuit ever is what my friend Debbie got me. So this is from Bow Avenue. I love their loungewear. It's always such gorgeous, soft, comfy fabric. Um, so yeah, this is what it says on the front. Limited edition. Nice long trousers. Cuffed at the bottom. So yeah, love these. Obviously, I just live in loungewear. Now this was from Sunny's friend who owns this brand so this actually did arrive on christmas eve and i was so excited so for me it's definitely a christmas present from sutton and tawny such a gorgeous beautiful british brand so they sent me this amazing scarf the logo there is light gray and dark gray stripe pattern it's super Super soft. I mean, this will kind of go with anything. I could wear this with my leather jacket. All made in Britain, and they've sent me 
two diffusers if you know me you will know i love a diffuser i don't like candles so i always have diffusers in the house let's open this one this one is orange and cinnamon which sounds like a bit of me i love cinnamon scents so you've got the black reeds in there love that they're black the actual diffuser has a rose gold top yes winning i'm scared this is gonna go everywhere okay i'm scared this is gonna go everywhere so i'm gonna open it later when i'm not on the sofa but from what i can smell here it's gonna smell amazing keep an eye out on my instagram because i will pop it on there but i love the packaging it of it all i've got orange and cinnamon and also bergamot as well which is very fancy love 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 and then also my friends who have their brand Millie and Canvas got me this scarf. I have worn this so much and I did put it, put it in my vlogs. So you might have seen it there, but it has my initials on it. DS on the gorgeous soft scarf. It's got pom-poms at the bottom. I've been wearing this scarf so much. I love it. So yeah, it just goes with everything in my wardrobe and you can get anything written on the bottom. So whether it's your full name or initials, it's like the perfect present for someone. As I said, I love diffusers so much. So as you can imagine, I am fully stocked up on diffusers after Christmas. This is so incredibly cool. This is from a brand called Chando and my friends Sinead and Emily got me this. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't look like a diffuser, but it is. And oh my god, I can smell it now. It smells amazing. So it's rose gold. You can get this in all different colours. It comes on a nice plate to sit it on. And what's amazing about this is that these are acrylic flowers and the scent comes out of the flowers. How amazing is that? So yeah, I am fully in love with this. I've never seen a diffuser like this before it's such a gorgeous gift and i think what i'm going to do is pop this on my bedside table next to my lamp and that will look so pretty it's just such a good idea yeah i think that's the most beautiful diffuser ever i might even get a couple more for myself because i love them so much we've got this one linear wild fig and vanilla love them kind of rich scents then we've got this one, next diffusers I've heard are meant to be amazing, so I'm excited to try this out to see how strong it is. Um, this is the Milan Collection Luxury Reed Diffuser. So this has got melon, green apple, magnolia, violet, sandalwood and amber. Amazing. Two more white company diffusers. I've got my winter one up there and wow, it smells amazing. When you go from using a Primark diffuser or an Audi one to then using a white company one, you can tell the difference so much. Like as soon as I walk into this room, I can smell that diffuser. So the winter one, which is by far my favorite scent ever in a diffuser, the cinnamon, clove and orange. And then I've also got the pomegranate as well, which I love. So this is obviously an upgrade from my pomegranate one from Aldi. So this is the real deal, the pomegranate, mandarin and amber scent diffuser. And then this is so cool. So basically you can like put this spray on this on these beads here and you pop it inside this star so i'll keep this for christmas next year and i can hang it maybe on the fireplace and it will give off that scent which is so nice you might have seen in my vlog if you did watch it but my friend kira got me this beautiful candle holder and she did get me a candle which is a battery operated candle which is so nice because obviously i don't have any candles around um, but it's nice to kind of get that look of a candle without having to light it but it does have like a flickering wick at the top which is really cool so this is beautiful and she also got me this which i've got on my dressing table now when i film videos i'm looking in this which also has a light so handy um to do my makeup while i'm filming and then this beautiful rose gold picture frame i mean to be honest i love this kind of marble print that's already in the photo frame but i will be putting a photo of me and sunny in this for in the hallway so guys i think that is mostly it for my main things that i got for christmas i did finally get a new phone case mine was so embarrassing all my friends kept telling me like how have you still got that on your phone it's disintegrating it's gross get rid of it 
Sunny hooked me up with a new rose gold skinny dip case and then Maybelline sent me this little pop socket. I've never had a pop socket on my phone before, can you believe it? I'm loving life with this. So yeah, I can hold my phone like that. And this also doubles up as a mirror. Genius. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas in the comments below. I'm still kind of sal shopping. I did get my bedside tables from, I can't remember the company something like furniture 365 something like that um i got my bedside tables in the cell from there so i'm excited for them to arrive if you have seen any good bits in the cell that you think i should maybe check up on then let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching this video thank you so so much to everyone who watched vlogmas from the bottom of my heart it means so much i honestly didn't think anyone would watch so thank you for doing that it made vlogmas so worthwhile. Oh, I'm so excited to film videos. Can't wait to sit down, film tutorials, just get testing products, get full face makeup on my skin again. <laughs> Bring on 2019. Thank you so much beauties for watching. Please like below, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video, which should be a new tutorial. See you soon guys, bye.